Hello, this is TJ Lyons back in my basement, and uh, I'm going to show you guys today how to light a calcium carbide drip lamp. This is the original mining lamps. Of course, they came in after candles. And this particular one I found in Bisbee, Arizona this summer. It's a, it's a great light. It's an auto light. You see it on and off here. And on the top is a chamber. The chamber's full of water. Yeah, enough in there, I think, for today. Put a little bit more in. And the miners would have to bring water with them, which was pretty common, because they got hot and thirsty down there. And on the bottom of this is another canister where you put in the pelletized fuel. This is called calcium carbide. I was able to find some from a, a spelunking store. And you get about 10 pounds of it. Nothing's cheap. When you actually look at it, it looks a lot like the same kind of gravel you would have in your driveway, but it's not. This reacts with water and it creates a nice little gas that we know is acetylene. So you put the chamber on top of here, a nice old leather gasket in there. <coughs> and then you turn it on and it will start flowing water into the uh, calcium carbide below. Now this gets warm as it gets working and uh, often you'll feel the heat. Right now you can feel the heat. And the gas will come through the upper chamber, and it will come out this orifice in the front. Now this is lit by a conventional cigarette lighter. You won't see it lighting like this because the gas is flowing out as fast as it can. But if you cup your hand like this and pop it, you get the lamp to go. And that's how you put together and light a calcium carbide drip lamp that they used to put on their helmets. And they would wear underground until they were done. And I think that's one of the coolest things I've done down here. And uh, a lot of people were asking, hey, TJ, you going to get that lamp going? And thanks to my son Andrew and myself, and we did get this puppy on. So that's it. Take care.